Greetings everybody, it's a pleasure to have you here again and today we're going to be talking about the five mistakes that traders normally make when it comes to stop loss. Yes, the five mistakes that trader, tra traders normally make when it comes to stop loss. First mistake is what? Not using a stop loss, no stop loss, right? You could place a trade, maybe you are buying here and you're expecting it to push higher and remember you are trading without stop loss. And then for one reason or the other, you might slip off or maybe you even take your leave from the system. And before you know it, the trade has gone way, way, way against you. This could easily lose, lead to heavy losses or maybe even a blown account. So no stop loss trading is very, very, what is very, very dangerous. Then number two, you could place a trade and then be using what you could be using a stop loss that is too too tight you could enter the market here to sell and then you're using a tight stop loss we could easily knock you out and then move in your favor without you you could easily move in your favor without you so make sure that your stop loss is set at appropriate places of swing highs or swing lows as the case might be so please pay attention to that and then number three, using a stop loss that is too, too wide. Using a stop loss that is way too wide. Now, what are you doing? You place a trade uh, as an example. You place a trade over here again, and then your stop loss is way too high. If this happens and then the trade goes against you, you're going to have a very big loss. So don't place a trade at uh, the next level, right? especially if it is too far as we said earlier look for swing highs and swing lows that you can use to hide your stop loss then also moving your stop loss to break even yes moving your stop loss to break even you place a trade over here to sell and then as it moves in your favor you quickly rush to break even here and as you rush to break even the market comes back takes you out and then moves down without you yes the market moves down without you and of course this is something that i'm sure has happened to a lot of people that are listening now when this happens i'm sure you can easily feel the pain and then also something again that happens let's assume uh let's assume you place a trade here as an example and then you are using what is called a mental stop loss a mental stop loss simply means that you're expecting your stop loss to be here but you did not set it right you didn't set it you put your stop loss there and then before you know it your your trading is meant to be that if it goes against you you will be the one to close it manually i repeat you will be the one to close it manually but then because of your emotions it goes against you but then you still believe that it's going to reverse you still believe that it's going to reverse it's going to return and then before you know it you don't still pull the trigger and then it moves against you, moves against you, moves against you. And you can see what happens. You could end up losing heavily. And this is also similar to not using a stop loss at all, right? A mental stop loss, you know where you want to get out, but then you don't pull the trigger there. And then before you know it, it keeps on going against you. And then you are hoping, you are wishing, and then you start to pray. When you start to pray, just know that it has gotten to that point where there is pressure right so these are the five five mistakes that traders normally make with respect to stop loss and those are once again as a quick recap right as a quick recap using no stop loss whatsoever number one using a very tight stop loss number two using a very wide stop loss number three and then also moving your stop loss to break even too fast too soon and then you are taken out and then finally using a mental stop loss but you are not pulling the trigger which is more or less similar to number one not using a stop loss at all so as you know these mistakes it is best for you to correct them and then make adjustments and then you will see improvements in your trading if this video was helpful you know what to do give it a thumbs up give it a like and of course smash the subscribe button it helps the algorithm it helps me to grow also on youtube Thank you, everybody. Hope the video was helpful. Goodbye for now and talk to you at a later time. Cheers, everybody.